Welcome to yet another edition of Nights with Ricky. I'm your host, Ricky Rees. Tonight, I'm going to talk about neurolinguistic programming. You know, it's considered a pseudoscience. You know, they don't really like take it into consideration. But I think it's a really big deal. And I think it goes on a lot. Definitely with TV. Definitely with any type of entertainment. And I think people really need to start like paying attention to it more. It's like, you know, with anything, you can take the good and the bad with it. Don't let it get into the wrong hands. It's just like the Bible. You can use it for good or you can use it for evil. The choice is yours. And it's the same thing with neurolinguistic programming. Neurolinguistic programming, NLP for short, it's been around for a long time. And pretty much is like ways of saying, you know, you could change your mindset and not only be a better person, but be even a stronger person mentally, being able to, you know, open up every potential of your brain. Because, you know, we got all this uh, brain storage space. So they figured if you program your brain to certain things that you're going to have pretty good high success rate. And I do believe that. I really do believe that. But I don't like when it's forced upon you by someone you don't even know. And... It's definitely done in the streets as well. You know, gangs do it and pimps do it. And I don't even think they have any really idea if they do it. Like, you know, just off the top of the head, you know. But, you know, they know they do something, but I don't think they knew what they was doing. But I figured out neuro-linguistic programming is what not some of them are doing, but all of them are doing. And definitely you can see it with a pimp. He can program a woman. You know, especially back in the day, you know, nowadays you don't really see it too strong. But you could program a woman to do whatever you want her to do, especially if she ain't got too much brain space up here. You can make her do this, make her do that. And as long as she gets programmed, she's going to be loyal to you, be dedicated to you. You know, it goes vice versa, though. You know, a woman can program a man. You know, she can do all those things that she wants to do. And get him programmed and then all of a sudden it becomes automatic of oh he gets this done for me he gets that done for me and i ain't got to do too much to get the things now that i had to do in the beginning to program him to get the things that i need pretty much uh i would say they do it in gangs you know like gang culture especially back then you know recruiting new members you know having guys coming in there you know because you know see they can fight because back in the day you had to know how to fight so you know, seeing that you can know how to fight and then you get caught up in this this lifestyle and then it's a long lifestyle that you can't really get out of. And it's like very, very hard to get out of that lifestyle when you get stuck in it. So that's another thing. Also, it's used like in sports. I believe it's used in sports. Like they have something called the Patriot Way. I truly believe that, that that's that's like a NLP. Neurolinguistic program. It's called the Patriot Way. You got to play a certain way to be on this team. You know, you do certain things to be on this team. And it's like you're programmed to be a certain way. You know, uh, I would say it's done in all sports. Football, basketball, baseball, whatever sport. Hockey, uh, boxing. And even boxing. I can see it done in boxing too. Because you got a trainer telling you what to do. He's programming you. And once you take and download everything they do, that's all you're going to know in the ring. And you got to just keep in mind, with all this NLP stuff, you know, just don't lose yourself. Don't lose who you are. Don't lose your thought process. Don't lose your decision making. Because once you start making decisions that you know you wouldn't make, that's when you got to know, did I just get programmed? Do I need to reprogram myself? I mean, they do it with music. Like, I can listen to gangster rap music all day long. The beats is good. I like the lyrics, everything. But I can turn it off and separate the two. I don't intertwine it with my actual reality. It's just something I can listen to that I know is some true things that are being said on them. But it, it doesn't apply to me. It's not part of my lifestyle. So I'm not going to take that and try to emulate something that's on a record. I mean... I just don't think that'd be the wisest thing to do. You know, any type of music for that matter, you shouldn't be getting influenced by it at all. But 
it's long and it, they do it with movies too. You know, they show you a certain type of woman that, you know, the woman has to look like or, you know, a certain type of man that the woman likes. And then you're assuming this is what they want. So then you start programming yourself. I believe you could take certain things from a little small little nuggets from these things, from music, movies and stuff like that. But just don't get caught up in it. Make sure you program to yourself and you program things that you want to do that not only be beneficial for you, but beneficial for others around you and even the world if it even goes further than that. But that's just my little opinion on that. So neuro-linguistic programming, it's a real deal. It's a real deal. And you better, better take a hold of it, you know, while you can.